Gonna pop the hood here. <laughs> Those are Dobson flies, the big ones in the middle. Hey everybody, welcome. We are fueling up for a long night of black lighting for moths. This is the first installment in Moth and Beetle of Moth Week. Stay tuned. Hey guys, let me uh, show you a little bit of what we got going on tonight. So, here's our setup. Uh, I kind of had to rig some things up. So I have these two uh, flexible poles that are holding this steady and they have the black light suspended. We got our sheets. It's always a good idea to have a sheet on the bottom because you can see a lot of bugs will land uh, on that as well. And we have our battery. We're just getting started. Um, we'll bring you in, we'll take some photos, we'll do the usual drill. It's 72 degrees at night. All right, we're gonna do a little tour here. Pretty good showing. Lots of, uh, lots of micros. Just a big Cecropia moth was here a little bit ago. Click beetles, moths I don't even recognize. So lots more stuff than in my backyard, obviously. And it's only been about an hour. So this is pretty cool. This is a longhorn beetle. Oh, I wish the wind would stop blowing. Not quite sure what this is. Some lace bug? All right, this is in the back of the sheet, so I can't, if I let go of the sheet, I'm gonna lose the, the wind's gonna blow it. Let me see if I can get the light. Oh, he's moving. Pretty big ant. This is a moth that apparently holds its wings over its back. I wanted to show you this one, it's got a strange nose. Turned up a little bit. Take some of these closer looks. A very big moth. What's with these guys? I don't really know their colors. It doesn't help to be colorblind. Gonna pop the hood here. <laughs> Those are Dobson flies, the big ones in the middle. Wow, this guy's really interesting. Little locust thing. Oh, there's a little 
wasp a uh, horn tail or something. Scary, right? 